You know, there's a lot of cameras marketed towards vloggers as an April Fool's joke, but they have ill intentions. Camera after camera release marketed towards vloggers, but then you get it in your hands and it cuts you. Paper cut. Today I just want to air off some steam because I'm about to explode, implode. I might implode like a submarine would. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So the first suspect on my list, the Insta360 ONE R. I'm still waiting for it, so I'm gonna tone this down a notch, but I wouldn't sell that grandmother to a black market baby in a sewer system. That got out of hand quick. So the 1R, the one inch Leica version, meant designed to kill all other cameras in one fell swoop. I looked it up, it's not fell. I was wrong. Thing has a closest focusing distance of 15 feet. How long do you think vloggers' arms are? What kind of poles are we supposed to be using? Full size tripods? I don't get it. Like, look at this side by side with the Japanese couple of love. Love and hope. Is there a difference? Yeah, the difference is I'm sharper. I figure we finish this video in the ghetto. Same place my dreams went to die. I'm overexposed. I exposed your lies while being overexposed. Why did she sit there and start talking on the phone? This is my peaceful spot. I found one spot in the city. I was alone for 14 seconds. So with the Osmo action and this 1R, you're not in focus, so you get a long ass pole then maybe you're in focus, but then the audio, non-existent. That's the most important part. None of the cameras are focusing on that. We got the GoPro. Are we done ranting on the one arm? Not yet. They got a tiny little mic jack, plugs into the side. Sounds like a Fisher Price walkie talkie that's installed in a truck, a toy truck that the kid uses to, oh, yeah, I'll be in for dinner soon, mom, and whispers into the truck, I'll kill your kid. I got out of hand quick. From the reviews I've seen, not only does that little thing not sound very good, it's an afterthought to the audio solution that we all crave. Which brings us to the GoPro, the mods. What kind of joke was that? I'm just, I'm watching review after review and first, thank you all for the 17 subscriber YouTubers that are showing me the audio quality in your mother's living room, the exact place I planned on filming my next snowboarding adventure. Thank you so much for showing me the indoor quality of your action camera. It's forever blessed in my heart. Thank you. But here we have a shotgun mic that doesn't shoot. There's no direction to that. It's a full shotgun blast, like old, old bullets that crumble on impact and it sprays everywhere. It sprays hard. You hear everything from the back? I don't know. Someone tell me please down below. Is it a separate audio track for the front and the back? Because from what I've seen, the front mic records as well as the back, but it's mostly the front. It's never one or the other. It's both. So if it is, then you could take the one track on the left, copy it over to the right, and then boom, you got yourself a solution. Front facing audio. But I haven't seen no jackass on YouTube show me. Is it separate files? Nobody's doing it. They're just making the same video over and over. Each person calls each other on the phone and says, let's make the same exact video, same test. Let's unbox it first. I will unbox your grave. Ooh. The thing is just poorly designed. There's no wind protection. You gotta, my man, the Irish guy in the Scottish Hills of Ireland. <laughs> he's walking around, he's a GoPro guy. He bought the thing and he had to sacrifice his Rode Video Micro wind cat, freaking dead rat and like cut it and that thing $40 down the drain. It worked pretty well, but it wasn't bulletproof. My goodness. The thing, it, there's no future planning to it. We need an actual shotgun mic with a wind protector. You should have had that GoPro, a GoPro windscreen that cost $900. I just noticed there's a no smoking and no vaping sign. Wow. We're getting hip to your lies, teenagers. <laughs> I have a video coming on the solution, the alternative to the GoPro mod. I've been working on it for months. It's halfway finished. We're ma waiting on one piece from China. But the fact that we have to get all do-it-yourself up in this bitch 
to get a workable solution is the problem. None of these cameras are designed for vlogging. Hands down. They're just, you could use this and every camera company is marketing it. The Sony a64 did it first. That was the worst one. No Ibis, blocked up flippy fruit. My dream in life is to work with Fuji on a vlogging action camera. Tiny one, you turn a profile, shotgun mic in there, Fuji wind muff, ninja based. Just the flippy screen of life. Little tiny camcorder, Sony X3000 shaped with a flippy camcorder ring. A ring, why'd I make that up? A ring light, oh my God. But it writes itself, macro capabilities. So I can do slow motion of ants. That's content, trust me. When will we learn? Don't try to pretend to be someone you're not. Be the guy right in there. Be true to yourself. Don't be a vlogging camera for Halloween if you're not one. Let's not pretend. Maybe on Halloween or else you won't get candy that rots your teeth. That's fun. So I'm gonna leave. We learned a lot. The audio was fantastic today. I'd like to thank the people at Radio Shack for making that possible. Thank you so much, world, for being quiet today. We did it. We're done. What's the best vlogging camera? There is none. We just make do with the crumbs that we're given. It's not a meal. It's a crumb meal. But I lick it. I lick it. All right, we're done. Thanks for buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. Or the other seven varieties. Subscribe for more videos and we'll see you in the next one.